I'm like super happy because I'm like I'm very invested into this anime. I feel you know by now. So I was like, yes, you, you get the girl, you king. So I also feel super invested, right? So I feel, I'm just happy. I was right. No, but I, come on, I was always like, he's just scheming. He's like, I seduced your mother, so you would love me more. It's just it's super. It's a scheme. It's an ultimate love love scheme. This is what I'm, I, I, I honestly, I'm kind of waiting for this more than I'm waiting for a kid. <laughs> I like. I feel I'm waiting for this love story more than I'll be waiting for the Mark and Yuki, honestly. It's mm. hello everyone on here. Time course for Fruit Basket episode twelve, season three, right? The pen ultimate episode, and that feels weird, you know. In some animes, it's almost one of the best three animes ever, right? Freaking Fruit Basket, and uh, for me, it's like this anime, right? And uh, Kimi and Todoroki are up there, right? My Kimi Todoroki is like this, or uh, yeah, my favorite, my, my favorite shoujo anime, right? Yeah, but it always feels weird when you know you get it so close to an end, right? The same thing for me, kind of last. You had the Black Clover thing that followed for so long, right? This anime, I think, I'll be following almost the same length, right? But it has, of course, had seasons. But it feels kind of weird, kind of an end here. And there's, of course, a lot of stuff I want to see being concluded, right? I want to see stuff like Sensei, Sensei, her love story. I want to see that shit going on. You know, Sensei was like kind of basically foreshadowing. She kind of had, kind of basically, Sensei was gonna end up with, you know, I thought she kind of said it, right? Yeah. And I, I want to see that. Uh, I want to see, you know, of course, obviously Yuki is the big thing, right? Uh, but I mean, not just, but for me, it's not on Yuki. I also want to see the other couples. I actually, I said earlier, but I kind of like the Nahito, Na Naoto, you know, the tiny guy, right, at the, at the council there. And he's like, oh, senpai, I kind of like you, you know, he's, yeah, <laughs> but she, he couldn't confess to her. I kind of want to see that story, like, <laughs> I said it a bit. Because he was like, he liked her, but he, he didn't have, you know, the, he didn't have guts to, to confess, right? And so on. And one thing I also really want to see, of course, is uh, Akito and Shigure. Right? Because I keep saying for a year now, at least, I like Akito and Shigure. That is why I think it's going to end up with Akito, right? I think Shigure loves her anyway, right? His master mom, and you know, you know what I mean. That guy was like, yeah, he was like four dishes how to get her, right? Uh, I do want to see that being restored, I guess, too. But I think he's going to get her in the end, right? That's like that's probably her. Her love and I think. Uh, and I say it too because I mean Toru and Kyoi, right? They kinda confessed and kissed and everything that's like right. So that's kinda all right, you know. The main love story, obviously Toru being the main character, that is more or less concluded, right? Maybe next episode we're gonna see like ten years from now, we're gonna have children and uh, sure, right? But uh, but uh, but I feel that I, I wanna I don't want too much on Toru, you know, this episode, right? Because I feel that's already over now. I mean over but you know, that's kinda concluded, right? Uh, except really get kids, you know what I mean? But in this current time, I kind of want to see that. And I feel the same with my best girl U2. She kind of went, you know, to hospital. He survived. So it's also kind of concluded, right? So I guess now we're going to get into all the other, you know, the love stories, all the couples, right? And maybe something is going to break up, right? Maybe someone's going to be, I never liked you anyway. I don't know. Let's start watch the episode. Second person. Three, two, one, and go. Yeah. What's happening? Yuki and Machi finally getting that. This is probably mostly obviously going to be a Yuki episode, right? Yuki and Machi. And she's all like, Ah, oh, Yuki, all oh, Sundra, and. Yeah, so that, that, that is the main episode is Yuki x Machi, right? Probably. But I, well, again, I do want to see Sensei. I want to see the other cats getting on too, right? I'm happy that we finally get this Yuki stuff, but I also want to see the other couples too, right? To some extent. But it's obviously a Yuki Maki episode, clearly. That was kinda given the previous last episode or the ending. <gasps> Yuki! Here we go. He's all smiling! It's all a miracle! I'm getting goosebumps. It's probably opening now. Okay, it's opening now. I feel it's gonna be the opening. But okay. It's a present though. Okay. Yeah. Oh for Honda though. <laughs> for Torushan! It's not even for him. <laughs> it's just like a d indirect d gift to her, okay? Sorry, Yuki. It's just a kind of like a... Not even a date, man. Man, he's kind of getting in the... Uh, here we go. Maybe she can confess, though. Come on, man. I wanna... Oh, yeah. She wanna thank him for making Yuki an honest man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. She's like... Yeah, if, you know, Honda made you a badass man, I'm gonna, like... 
<laughs> yeah, because you used to be this weak uh, baby rat more than there, but... Yeah. Here we go. A monkey crying scene? Come on, solve it immediately! Oh, here we go. But I'm getting maximum goosebumps on this thing. Yes, you're the one for me! <laughs> it's like you're my chosen one almost! Oh man, look at the monkey face! Uh, you're the, I'm getting maximum goosebumps, yeah, you're like, you're the social one, girl. <laughs> he's almost not even too much, he's like, so you're the social one. <laughs> it's not a little or dramatic cringe though. No, I got, I got maximum goosebumps though. But I mean, I'm very, I mean, I'm very invested in this anime. <laughs> like, it was, that was a weird emotion for me personally because it's like, it felt a little cringy, honestly, it's like, you're the show sort of one for me, girl. A little bit of that, but at the same time, I'm like super happy because I'm like, I'm very invested into this anime, I feel, you know, by now. So I'm just like, yes, you, you get the girl, Yuki! So I also feel super invested, right? So it feels like, oh, uh, weird. I'm like, yeah, yeah, she's the one, Yuki! You're gonna marry her! Um, man. I don't know, I'm like super excited, yeah. <laughs> like, it's super... I feel like, absurdly excited. Um, I remember the open though, I love the scene. Uh, I didn't say it, but I love the scene again. I said, I said it last week because I said, I said it again. I love the scene opening because we're seeing the ripping off the, the beats, right? Yeah, the so last episode. And you know what? Maybe some kind of. I don't know, honestly. I think they kind of dropped her, you know, the character, yeah. I mean, I love her voice in the court, Kid and but. I feel this is a kind of, you know, even, yeah, that she hasn't really been much in the anime, so I don't know if Kara, but <laughs> the poor girl. Uh, of course, Ronishan, you know, he, mine, uh, yeah, he was like, you're mine, mine. In English, I mean, her name is mine, right? So he's like, you're mine, mine. It's like the weird in English. But that was nice. Yeah, so Shane's, of course, a broker. Everyone's free. Oh, it happened during that. For Yuki, it happened during the, I guess, yeah, I guess it happened for him during this thing. Which is all like, Sayonara! He's like, I can hug her now. I can hug Maki. Here we go. Hug her. Maki! Hug her! Here we go. I can hug her now. Hug. Oh, and then God appears? Or something? Oh, the rat God or something? But I guess it's like the last one. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting good stuff though, but I guess I guess God appears and is like, yes, Yuki, you're the you're the last one that kept my yeah the promise here. So it's like I hear God. Does he remember the original promise then? Because he's the last one to keep the the truth or something. It silly to really explain how the Somas or like God or something or the Somas have gods or something. And she's like, what's happening? <laughs> Machi's like, uh, what, what, what's happening? <laughs> like, why are you super... Are you talking to God or something? Like, what's happening? <laughs> I saw this rat god, guys. Like, what? But obviously he's gonna be kind of emotionally devastated now because he, he lost his chains, you know. It's gonna be this weird feeling, right? Losing the power of... Yeah, losing that Soma chain stuff. Yeah, she's like, yeah, okay, not talking about me here. <laughs> it's like, what's happening? Yeah, I won't be able to see my animals anymore. Hug her! Hug her, Yuki! You can hug her! See, here we go! Woo! Here we go! We think you finally hug a girl. He's like, yeah, that's right! Perfect timing! There we go. Hug the girl. <laughs> I like how, of course, everyone around them is watching this thing. <laughs> it feels very realistic. Everyone! He's like, oh my god, look at that boy! He's seducing her. Look at that hug. Yeah, and see, everyone is like, oh, this is clearly super romantic. <laughs> this is kind of cute. It's kind of dorky, I feel. It's kind of dorky cute how all the characters around them are like, oh, God, we are watching like an anime love scene. <laughs> yeah. They're all like, this is clearly like a movie setting. Uh, uh, they're all women, too. Yeah, they're all females for some reason. They're all, uh, I don't I see, I see, uh, all look kind of cute. Yuki, <gasps> first name basis. Okay, now when the touching your shit, like now it's clearly love question here. 
and they're touching her lip like that. Okay, now, now this is basically like, oh, he gets a kiss too. I mean, now I can see more that the ladies around him be like, whoa, what a kiss. Yeah, now it feels more like they actually would start than perhaps. Uh, but it's like very like uh, yeah, dramatic kiss in the middle of the street. Yeah. <laughs> But see, everyone was like, stopped in time to stay out there for like five minutes. It was so romantic. Um, come on, Shigure and Akito. Give me that, give me that ending that I've been saying. So it's like a flashback with the whole Shigure and Akito, but... She's like, yeah, let's do it. Do you love me, Shigure? See? He's gonna end up with her! Come on, I got be right! I said if I can hear him now, come on. Shigure's gonna, he really loves Akito. Come on, Shigure is a true love interest for uh, Akito. <laughs> Who else is she gonna get? At this... At this phase, I was like, where else is she gonna get right? But still. And... Yeah. The Apollo has to really change. <gasps> Here goes the cat! He's back. And of course... This woman has not had much screen time. As I mentioned earlier, poor Kagura, yeah. Yeah. Queen of Sundra. And they could give me a yeah, she has not had much screen time this season. Oh my god, giant Momoji. <laughs> He's like, you shit, you got order! <laughs> it was just her plan to tease him. I love it. He's like, yeah, yeah, good job. He's like. And Momoji is like, you better not screw over to order. <laughs> it's like, I got you now. Yeah, it's like, okay. Good Kagura. She's working together with Momo to like get him. Good. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> I will also love you. Unisha is here too, yeah. I love you too, brother, yeah. It's like... Head patting her, yeah. <laughs> I, I will always love you, Yuki. <laughs> it's like, that's kind of weird, man. I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> don't you worry, Yuki. Yeah, I will always be your love interest too. It's like, what? What? <laughs> He got attacked by Kagura, so... Yeah, I was lost, yeah, I, I, I used... Yeah... Yeah, <laughs> Riff Raff just to have never been here before. Here we go, Akito's gonna meet them all at... Uh... Ooh, as a late... Probably in a female dress, I guess, you know, a female you you can't touch, and then be all... All girly, right? All feminine, exactly. She's gonna be there. The, the, the flower we see in the ending too is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna have the flower there, of course. She's all girly, no, of course. All feminine. Of course. Drop that. Uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, see, where's my, main, where's my main boy, you know? Where's my true love interest? Of course. But <laughs> she go! I'm a woman. This is my real gender, I guess. Gonna be like. I'm actually a lady. Oh, is that Shigure? Is this a Shigure present? Is he the one to give her the... Yeah, Daikirai! Yeah, Daikirai! It's one of the, it's the most toxic love story ever in anime. I love it. Come on, all of just scratching him. Come on, I love it. They have the worst toxic love ever. It's awesome! See, I will abandon you. I'm your true love. See, I've been right. I've said it for years now. Come on. Come on. Uh, obviously, Shiguri loves her Rina. They have this really weird, the most toxic love ever. But it's clearly the, the best toxic love in anime history. See, this weird. It's like, yeah, as a new you girl. It's like, this when you scratch me, I'm gonna smash you now. So they have, they have some weird love, but it's like, come on, I love it. It's so effed up, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, that's right, girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you now when you're. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my true self as a woman, right? Yeah, I'm gonna stop pretending to be a boy, of course, obviously. Yeah, probably should have done it sooner, but yeah, you know, curse and shit. Yeah, I pushed that girl down the balcony, I stabbed that guy, you know, and I kicked the other girl down the cliff, kinda, almost. Uh, wasn't truly really my purpose, to, but you know. And I beat up that person, and that person I painted in the corner, and... Uh, yeah. Not a good love story, it's so toxic, it's uh, beautiful. 
Exactly, because Shigure is the true love interest of Akito. It's always been. The scheming, the dog man. Yeah, because he wanted her for real right? He's most unafraid of her. But he's just, he's just playing for the chess girl. He just has a weird strategy to get her. He's like, I smash her mom to get her. He knows the head route to get her love right. Exactly, he's like, I knew you would get the Alice, so I, so I seduced your mother so you forget me, you know. And he's like, come on, this is my scheme. <laughs> See? He's just an ultimate schemer, man, come on. He's like, well, you know, I knew this would work on you, girl. Here we go. See? He's obviously gonna be like, you're my woman forever now. And no else can have you. <laughs> he's beautiful. I'm just happy I was right. No, but come on, I was always like, he's just scheming. He's like, I seduced your mother, so you would love me more. It's just it's super, it's a scheme. It's an ultimate love, love scheme. Come on, Shigure is just playing the ultimate love story. Exactly. But her true love. <laughs> exactly. He talks like he never, like he never seduced my mother. He's acting like he never smashed my mom. <laughs> But he did it! That bastard! <laughs> oh, he's just waiting for her in the room, right? It's always, yeah. But now she's just really cute though, and this. Uh, now Kita looks very feminine here, yeah. She's going there. Oh, I hate him so much, but I love him. Come on, kiss him. I'm gonna end with a kiss right with Akito and Shigure. Yeah, he makes me. I can't breathe without him. Here we go. Come on, here we go! Yeah, the scene I waited for. We waited for you. Here we go. Yeah, yeah my woman self. What is the most right? Here we go. Yeah, the apologizing is kind of hard anyway, though. Even if they know her gender and so on, it's gonna be kind of hard. And obviously Rin, he pushed down the back on his own. Yeah. Well, yeah, she did have the family. She had the power of the Empress. <laughs> so tell me I have to be the head of the family if I marry you? <laughs> You're telling me I have to also be the head then if I marry you, woman? <sighs> I guess. <laughs> it's like... Like a Shigure is like, oh, I don't want to be the head of the family if I marry you. Oh, come on. Come on, give me that kiss though. Look at this. Yeah, you're beautiful. Here we go. This is what I'm, I, I, I honestly, I'm kind of waiting for this more than I'm waiting for a kid. <laughs> I like, I feel I'm waiting for this love story more than I'll be waiting for the Mark and Yuki, honestly. That, Oh, come on, oh, whatever, be the kiss, yeah. But I kind of wait for it almost more, because I just love the, the dog's scheme, right? He's a uh, <laughs> conniving bastard to get his girl, right? Smashing her mom and so on, he had to get her. It's just beautiful. Be most, the best toxic love in the anime, come on. I, I was like, yeah, he got her. Um, but of course, uh, Koi is still all like, oh, no, I killed your mom and so on. Yeah, she's still back at the whole, uh, I'm sorry for killing your mother, kind of, and so on, you know. That whole thing, is it really been resolved, I guess. Um... For him at least, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm just a human now. Yeah, now I could have saved your mother if, you know... Because now I would have turned into a cat if I tried to save her. But I feel, as I mentioned earlier, this love for me is already in, you know, 10 out of 10 is perfect, right? You can give me the sensei, give me, you know, give me the senpai love story and so on. I kind of want to see the other characters now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, come on, I don't need more of Toru's love story. She's already married, basically. Come on, I move to someone else. Uh, oh, he wants to go and explore. I always wondered if they couldn't leave the city. They never said that, they never explained that. But the fact that they could never leave Akitos, you know, kind of have to be close to her. I always thought it was implied that they couldn't leave the village, you know, kind of city or whatever. You want to call it like the vicinity of her 
So now they need a time skip now or something to his dojo or something like that? No, it's just, it's just imagining. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he wants to go and explore the world and something, right? I guess Thor's going with him, probably. I think she's like, let's go together, honey. Let's go to explore the world, right? I could definitely see Toru and him going on a backpacking trip through Europe or something. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, let's leave Japan and explore the other countries or something and see the world. Or I just think that could be a thing here. And I do wonder, obviously, they have this estate, right? They're kind of rich, so if he wants to leave and go on an airplane or whatever, right? It definitely, see, I'm going with you, see? Yeah. It definitely feels like they have the money, right? So he's like, yeah, exactly. I'm going to go around the, the planet, girl. Oh, it sounds awesome. Yeah, let's go. But are they really poor though? Like, are they really... You're the one that asked me! You gotta, you gotta fix the money, boy! Yeah, you gotta pay for my ticket, right? It's like, come on. But I wanna go, yeah! <laughs> you better pay for it! You know how he's been like... I, I wonder, but it really feels like they have a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like, they feel they're very wealthy, right? The Somas. They have all these maids and they own like a freaking... You know, they own like 10 masters, right? I'm just imagining if they were like... If he's like, Akito... Can I have a million dollars to go around the world? Like, yeah, whatever, a million dollars. Like, it feels like they have the money to use, you know, trust found kids, right? Um, okay, no ending. But that's the ending, I guess, the tour and, and Koi. They're gonna travel around the globe a bit. And uh, probably, of course, go back to Japan after a while, right? But yeah, they're gonna probably explore a bit around. And then I guess it's gonna end, it feels like Koi is gonna end as a dojo master. He's gonna end running a dojo. That's gonna be his job, right, probably. It's gonna be like a martial art instructor. It's gonna be all like Cobra Kai, man. Yeah, but that, that feels like that's gonna be his... Uh, his goal, right? To run like a martial art... Uh, yeah, like that feels... Like his master. That feels like Koi. Yeah, please take me with you. So they're going on a little adventure together. So now next episode is going to explain the other love stories then. Yeah, come on, I want to see the senpai, I want to see, you know, sensei, I want to see the other characters' love stories. Uh, we got Akito, we got the Yuki, you know, now it's time for the, all the supporting characters. Now it's time for those 20 other characters we forgot about. Oh my god, best mom. But I feel it's time now for the other characters, right? I will protect her life. Hmm. Right, it's nice. Is this the last episode? <laughs> That's definitely the last episode, honestly. They're kind of walking away from. But I'm pretty sure it's one more episode. An epilogue episode. Man, this is sad. It's like, it's like mom's death scene now. Why, why are we getting the mom death scene? Yeah, what is it? Why are we getting mom's. Like, why are we getting like the mom spirit death scene? What? Okay, so we're getting mom's perspective on dying? Man, I'm getting goosebumps, but it feels like a really weird scene now. We're getting how mom felt that she died. It's a good question though. Toro lived in the street that you died. That was kind of weird. She lived in a tent. Her, her rest of her family is pretty crap. Yeah, like she just ended up living in a freaking tent in a forest. She is, she is right to be worried that dying will... Make it her life hard for the daughter. Yeah, they're just dropping dead mom here in the end. They're like, oh, that's just like romantic scene. Oh, actually, dead mom. Well, what? Uh, um, it's like, yeah, let's just don't forget about the bleeding mo mom dying on the ground there. Yeah, okay. Um, this feels like a weird. Maybe she's gonna look at uh, Koi here and be like, protect my daughter, boy! See, if she's gonna look at Koi here, this running away, of course. The runner. But yeah, the power vision of mom dying is really serious. She's like, oh, that's my little extra son. Man, this is a really weird scene, though. 
I'm getting maximum goosebumps though, but it's a weird scene of seeing mom die and being like, You better protect my daughter! Yeah, you gotta keep our promise, boy! Well, let's explain what she said that though. She kind of managed to just confuse him. <laughs> she managed to confuse him by being like, I will never forgive you if you break, if you don't protect my daughter! Yeah. Yeah, like this is, uh, yeah, that really. Man, that's a weird death scene here. She managed to confuse poor Koi. Yeah, man, if she just gave us a weird, sad death scene of mom again. Yeah, you gotta get Gumbra, girl. Man, that was sad. She clearly recognized Koi. She clearly recognized Koi and was like, You better protect my daughter! And he's like, Ah, she hates me! <laughs> she remembered how I pushed her! Oh, man, uh, it's sad, man. Ugh, it's like... Weird... Uh. Oh, well now she's like, I guess in heaven or something? Yeah, her husband's at home, right? Thoru's papa. It's gonna call me right? So when you die, you get... Actually, in this anime, given that they have spirit animals and gods, that the heaven exists makes sense because they have like magical power, so why wouldn't you go to heaven if you die and meet your husband again? Yeah. This, I mean, this anime is actually heaven is believable. Like, heaven probably exists, right? Because it's like, you know, yeah. See you again, man. Uh, that was a sad last uh, last bit there. I felt that a little weird that it threw his pin in, though. Be like, oh yeah, this is how what mom was thinking when she died. You see, you know, mom's death power vision. Okay, yeah. That, that, that is something I, I felt I needed to know there. Um, huh. But, um, yeah, that was sad, man. That was a really good episode, though. Obviously, I'm just happy that I was right about it, you know, but... I've been saying it for a while. I was like, Skewrick really loves it for real, right? They have the weirdest toxic love ever, but I'm like... This is the real love story of the anime, right? Shigure <laughs> and... No, but I'm just, you know... I respect him for seducing her mother. That's a bonus for me, right? Like, what a, what a, what a man! What a, what a man, right? But I'm also just like... They have like the weirdest toxic love story in anime. He's like, yeah, I smashed your mom and so on. She's like, oh, he's like, I hate him the most, but I also love him the most. He's the one that I'm most afraid of because I actually... But I mean, what Kito is saying, right, is she's the most afraid of uh, Shigure because obviously he's also kind of like her... Uh, the one she loves the most, right? So of course she's, like, she's most afraid of losing him because if she loses him, right, she loses the one she's truly most in love with, right? So... It, it kind of makes sense, right? So, on. but yeah, like the, that whole thing, I was like, man, this is uh, this is great. I love it. I love seeing Akito being all like, I want to get ripped. And obviously, the first scene was, um, yeah, like the first scene was super. I mean, I was, I was, I was, I was very excited <laughs> when Yuki got that, uh, when Yuki got that kiss and hug and so on. And the, this general scene, he's like, I get the new girl. And uh, yeah, I think it was kind of funny though, how everyone was standing around, I mean, like paralyzed by the, by the kiss. <laughs> it's like 10 people around, and I'm like, wow, look at that romantic boy kiss. He's like seducing her so good. <laughs> everyone around him is like, oh, here it is, yeah. Everyone around him is like, oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone around him is like, my god, what a kiss. You know, it's like, like the whole world's like, whoa. Um, no, but it was really nice, and this is definitely expected the result that there's gonna be a Yuki Maki uh, conclusion, right? And uh, Akita and Shiguri, yeah, the main, the main girls, the kind of the main antagonist, getting her uh, ending too, right? So again, as I said earlier, the only thing I kind of want now, right, 
is to see uh, all the other characters. I want to see Sensei, you know, I see Naoto, I want to see all the other people, if they're going to get their love stories, right? like an epilogue episode. Uh, obviously, the end, they kind of concluded even more on Toru and Koi, that they're going to go on a journey together, like, a, like, a, like a, you know, backpacking and whatever, right? I do really question, though, how much money their family has. Like, it's really poor. I, I really do feel, though, that Kathy you ask Akito, say, Akito, I want to travel to, like, Europe with Toru. She's like, oh, yeah, you travel to you with Toru, my best friend? She's like, oh, I love the Toru girl. You want to get the money? Like, and, you know, Akito is, like, super rich, right? And I feel like she's she loves Toru. She's like, Toru is my best and really only friend, right? Like, after Shigure, obviously, she loves Toru the most, right? If you know, but, like, you know, honestly, right? For, no, but I say, like, Akito, her, her number one is Shigure, right? But her number two is Toru, that's her first real friend, so... You know what I mean? You kind of like if, if he's like, "Hey, I want to go to Europe with Toru," or you know, America. She's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, no problem, right?" And they have millions and millions of dollars, right? They have they have hundreds of millions of yen, right? So I really don't see any problem for um, yeah, then he's back, he's traveling because her, his family is so wealthy. Um, but the last scene, though, man, that was uh yeah, the, the dead mom power vision. That was some sad ending there. Throw it in. That was like a heart-wrenching little sad death moment where we can see how his mom meant to Koi and that really confused him and made him just, oh, she hates me. And she's like, she could recognize him and she was dying and was like, you know, protect my daughter, I know you want her, and yeah, that stuff, right? So that was really sad. That was that was a really sad thing. Definitely one of the saddest scenes in the anime, really, the ending here. It was... Um, it felt a little out of the blue, honestly, I think, though, but still, a really, really sad scene. It ended over her meeting her husband again, though. And as I said earlier in the rest part, in this anime, I mean, it truly makes sense, in my opinion, right? Because, yeah, you have an anime where you have, like, spirit animals, you do have a literal god, right? You have the god guy that was like, oh, we're going to be promised the one that you can saw in the end, right? So they actually have a god in this anime, and they have magical powers, right? And supernatural powers. So that she would die, uh, you know, Toru's mom is the one in Kyoko, she would die and go to some kind of heaven, right, and meet her husband again. He's like, you know, welcoming her in this kind of water thing, right, kind of wakes up in this, I don't know, water sunset beach kind of thing, right. It actually, yeah, in this anime that's probably what happened, right. So at least, at least a death in this anime means that you go to heaven, I guess. Because, again, it actually makes sense. They have a god, they have magical power, so it's one of the animes we really, really you know, Really, religion is right, you know what I mean? <laughs> that being said, though, the god is like, uh, you know, there's a god, but it's not really a god, I guess, how to say it, traditional religion, right? But it's a heaven. <laughs> so, it's an, it's an afterlife, I guess it's called an afterlife. It's an afterlife. But uh, sure, I mean, that's happy in that sense, though. She ended up meeting your husband again. Um, why not? I mean, it's believable. Especially if you're gonna go that she's a nice, you know, good mom and so on, right? So if you have heaven and hell, she would obviously go up because she's a nice person, right? So she would go down and so on. But, um, yeah, really sad ending there. That kind of... And they explain, of course, why she's had a shit to call you. Um, that's a good episode, though. I just, I'm just hoping that... The only thing I'm afraid of, right, in the epilogue now, is that I'm hoping, again, next episode... I mean, they obviously have a lot of supporting characters, right? So I'm hoping that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get some more characters. Um, you know, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm just hoping here in the end, right, in the last episode, again, I'm hoping the sensei, you know, she's in love with, you know, you know, that's one. I wanna see that. There's a lot of characters in this anime, so you can't go over them all. But I feel you can kind of quickly go down maybe five, six supportive characters, right? Uh, we really have, as I mentioned earlier, we kind of have a niche genre. He's like me, now your mind. So we really have some of the supportive characters. And obviously the shibi ones, you know, the younger tiger and yeah, so on. They're already in love, so you don't have to go in that. Meaning the Rin is in love and so on. So half of them already have their romance, romantic, you know, journey and they right? kind of finish. Or not the journey, but I mean, they kind of have the, the destination, right? They kind of have their who they're in love with. So... They don't need to focus on those characters, but there's some other, I think, some elements. Like, for example, I used to, I don't know, what I think was so cute when he was like, I'm in love with my senpai, but I can't confess to her. Right? I want to see that, you know, these this small supportive characters you might get to see in there. And it's probably enough for me, honestly, if we do like a time skip, right? Like, say, we jump 10 years, and then we see him, right, and his senpai on a date, something, right? Or they can have like a kid walking past Toru. They don't really need to dwell on. I would say every character, how they fell in love with someone. 
we can kind of focus on just showing them a little deer, a little deer, a little deer. You know what I mean? Like we don't have to. I don't think just see him go on a go on a marriage with her right, and see their whole life. But I can see them go on a date, or maybe he kisses her in the background or whatever. Right? That would do sensei, and she's gonna live with him and so on. So let, let's see how they do with this episode. I'm excited to see how they're doing it, definitely. But I'm hoping that they're gonna do a time skip. Right? I want to see. This like, you know, 5, 10 years, maybe 15 years in the future. I want to see the next episode. I want to jump into, you know, Toru being a mom, right? You know, badass Toru. She's like, I'm a cool badass Yankee mom now. You know what I mean? I want to see her being like best bros. And now, but you know, like, yeah, come on, let's go, sis. Let's train our kids, you know. And how like, you know, and then she's being like, I will teach them spirit magic. And you're like, yeah, now it's a fight. <laughs> so, you know, I want to see those three girls, right? Being like, you know, best sisters for life, mom, aunties together, yeah. And their kids being like, yeah, you know, ew, passion. <laughs> so, right, yeah. I want to see that shit, right? So, Hopefully we do like a little uh, time skip, uh, maybe 10 years, maybe 5 years, um, something like that, right? And then of course seeing like, Sensei and so on. We can't really know Sensei win anyway, right? Um, but last I also liked the yeah, general idea that Shigeru now he's like, oh, I have to be the lord of the house, oh, I want to marry you Akito, but I don't have, uh, yeah that's true, if I marry you I will I have to become the king of the, the Somas, oh. <laughs> what a new <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't like working. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be a lazy writer. <laughs> that's the issue of marrying the, the empress, though. Yeah, you have to become the emperor. It's like, ugh, oh, what a busy body life, man. Uh, anyway, guys, subscribe. So, I'll see you next week with the final episode. Be exciting. Not sure of that. Uh, tomorrow, we have the final episode of Slime Rest. Of course, generally, this week, we're having a lot of finals, right? Of course. And then we have some new anime. I guess they were Sonic Boy. Episode 1, uh, which I think was pretty interesting. It's like a Lord of the Fly, Battle Royale, Hunger Games kind of anime, right? Kids, like the kids, are interesting premise, uh, even though it's kind of been done before, but could be a cool anime, really, and so on. So, yeah, so go subscribe for next week, now and this week. We're going to have a lot of new animes coming, right? I'm going to review, of and analyze, and so on, react to right? different, all the different new animes popping up in the coming uh, summer season here. Uh, Alright, have a good day and I'll see you guys next week with the final episode of Fruit Basket.